Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your mid-April 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces who views the video. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, some of you, you miss someone. Some of you, you're thinking about what the next phase is in your life. Uh, some of you dealing with some committed people. You're not in a commitment with that person, but they are already in a commitment. But they have really strong feelings for you. All right, so that's love. Some of you, um, so issues from the past are cropping back up. It could be legal issues. Uh, you just have to really, it's some reversal. You thought you were going forward, and you are, but you just, this has to be dealt with. Okay, so let's get started. So there might be a, a sense of um, lack of confidence in regards to some soulmate energy or maybe going back to the past here with someone. Um, if someone, you feel left out. You feel left out in regards to someone from the past. They were all over you at one point and now they may have kind of shut the door and now you're you're having fond memories about good times with this particular person eight of swords yeah definitely uh thinking about this person trapped in thought negative thought about moving forward needing to have the strength to come out of those thoughts if it's over it's over if you want back, then you need to make a plan of action. Maybe the Seven of Swords to go back. Um, plans need to be revised. You thought you were going forward on one path. Now you want to go backwards. Could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You guys, you can do the signs. I I can't keep up, you know. Um, yeah, wow. Princess of Swords. And then some of you are just outright either spying or the communication with this maybe air sign is very short uh, they could be spying on you or you're spying on them I really feel like there's a, a situation where you might be looking in on maybe social media talking to other people who know this person just trying to gather some information in regards to also some of you feel stuck in regards to past past situations past family matters uh, put you in a place of maybe feeling depleted lack of confidence of moving forward Queen of Cups this is you focused on love giving love self love uh, just overall being in love wondering when it will come in for you eight of Pentacles definitely uh, for some of you it's I want to do what I love um, you want to make a, a, a a living of it you want to earn income from what you love and then here's you showing up the hangman needing to look at something from a different perspective uh needing to see something in a 360 degree you need to see all angles of this um and, and you will enlightenment will come in regards to maybe some issues that have cropped up from the past uh, enlightenment will come in regards to how to do something that you love or put or make income from something something you could do every day some of you are unhappy with work you're not unhappy with the money that it brings but you're unhappy with the, the title or the the getting up every day and excuse me actually doing the job you know going to the work place let's see um, 
Okay. Yeah, four of pentacles and a star. You feel as if something is um, holding you back. No. You feel as if this person, a particular person is holding back from you. Not opening up energetically. Uh, maybe even monetarily to you. Some of you feel like when a large sum of money comes in it'll put you in a place of of your destiny of what you 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 rather be doing what you love to do uh, it'll put you in a place of healing in all facets emotionally mentally uh, believe it or not you know how much how much resources or money we have is you know kind of di directly um, related to our emotions and you know sometimes this one when you know of or you know people who are in places of you know depletion monetarily or just outright poor let's say that they aren't always in the happiest spirits you know and and, and there's exception to that rule also there could be people who are you know monetarily poor and who are always happy but resources um the lack thereof especially when you have experienced having an abundance of resources or the and then resting in lack or needing to budget or constantly worry about resources uh it can take a toll emotionally mentally physically your health um so then you need to also find different outlets in regards to what really makes you happy. It can't always be your resources because that's a source of depletion. It can go away. So you have to find and rest in happiness in things that don't dissipate, don't fade. That's your faith. That's your your the true nature of giving friends, family, uh, who or whatever. Okay. So anyway. Um, some of you feel as if when a large sum of money comes in, it'll put you back on the right status in, in regards to, you know, money. You'll be able to do whatever it is you want to do. Don't we all feel that way? Uh, Princess of Pentacles. Yeah. So there'll be, there might be talks about money coming in, um, stability happening for you, or your stability is elsewhere. Um, then the Prince of... So, for some of you, this is like deliberation. Um, the, the talks of money, and then here comes the long time offer. The Prince of Pentacles finally comes in, or the Knight of Pentacles finally comes in. Will you accept the offer? Um, Four of Wands, wow, it really makes you stable. I say accept it. That's a yes answer right there uh, for some of you in regards to you know money and resources and finance um if this is love for you you may be trying to get back to somebody this person may have you at one point you guys had a stable relationship like titles with each other boyfriend girlfriend fiance husband wife whatever um now it's talks of can we get back? It may even be gifts. Uh, and then here's the offer. Come on, let's get let's get this relationship back. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a, a hope fulfilled, a wish fulfilled for you. Um, you feel as if you are without always keep in mind the nines are about separation and isolation so the nine of cups will be about something that you hope for coming in um my nails aren't polished so yeah i don't really <laughs> want to show the cards so anyhow the nine of cups is about wishing and hoping for that 10th cup the highest level of happiness hoping for something or someone who you are without 
Okay, so let's get some advice for the Piscean person. Or let's see how this other person feels about you. Some of you, this, this offer that comes in, it could be love, it could be money, it could be both. And we'll see what that's about. We'll clarify the other side. Okay. Knight of Cups could definitely be love. This person wants to offer love and stability. This could be a Cancerian person, Queen of Wands. This could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And they're all about what they're they're passionate about. Four of Cups upright. Um, this person is offering all of this. They hope that you take to it. They want you to know that it's not going to be like it used to be. Or this is the Piscean person offering all of this. And they hope that um, the other person takes to the offer. And, and knowing that it's not going to be how it used to be. I'm not going to play around Queen of Cups. Because somebody is very much in love and wanting to give love wanting to offer emotional fulfillment let's see will of fortune because yeah somebody feels as if this is destined a destined relationship this is a this is their destiny they want to the lovers the ace of swords and the eight of wands this is about Your person feels like, please accept my offer of love, of devotion, of wanting to start something stable because I am very much in love with you. I feel as if this is a destined uh, relationship. Things have ended for me. I have made the choice in love and that is you. I'm communicating that with you. I've also severed ties. And I want to put the work in. I want to have the strength to move to move this forward, to progress. We can even talk about what the problems were in our relationship. It could have been jealousy, it could have been greed. Let's talk about that so that we can, you know, have positive progression forward this may even be communication coming to you via email text it's not face to face it could be over the phone also you, this person could be traveling toward you um they could live far from you uh and now all of this could be vice versa pisces could be going back to someone else and saying hey you know Let's um let's make this work. Some of you are married, you you're trying to spice up the marriage, a little bit bored in the marriage. Somebody's having a conversation about what we can do to to, to keep this this train on the tracks because you know it's kind of going off the, the tracks here. And uh, somebody's getting in a place of being okay with it going off the tracks which is not good and then the other person may be not okay with it going off the tracks somebody travels for work here six of swords Some, somebody just wants to be in a, a positive place with maybe an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius Aries Sagittarius Leo um anyone you got everybody here so you know you guys can take your pick there um that's how your person feels about you let's get you some angel answers and then we're going to clarify over the other side to see ask the question what should the pisces do should the pisces accept this offer or if the pisces is thinking about extending this offer should they extend the offer how will that go What do you have to say for the angel answers, Lord God? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Pisces. Okay, 
Oh, ooh. there's something better, not the right time. There's something better and not the right time. Okay. Opportunity. Wow, they, this is really... There's something better, not the right time. I'm really feeling like for some of you going, trying to go back. It's like you're trying to go back in, in an air of desperation because you're like, I don't know if I'll ever have what I had with you with somebody else. With that's fear, that's fear based. Um, that's desperate. Uh, living in singlehood just for a little while and, and trying to manifest what it is you really want out of a partner or out of a job situation. Um, but I really feel like that that's love. Let's see. Within the next few months. Okay, we've got uh there's something better, not the right time, not the right time, opportunity, look for a sign within the next few months. Okay, improving health for some of you. We're gonna go ahead and go to the other side and clarify this. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. If you feel like it resonates with you thus far go ahead and book the extended read it's only two dollars gives you a bit more of clarity especially if you need the question answered uh what should i do we're going to go ahead and try to clarify that over at the other side um and try to make this affordable especially for those who say that they cannot afford personal readings uh, but just need some type of clarity two dollars gets you clarity okay um go ahead and click the link below and uh thank you also if you feel like you want your own personal reading to pull your own personal energy go over to the website book your own personal reading remember to use coupon code 10 off 35 that's 10 dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more thank you pisces uh for tuning in for always coming back i uh, know that i'm praying for you pisces pray for me as well take care guys